Drop your weapons or I'll shoot. I repeat. You don't see the shit you're in? Now! You shoot him, and a millisec later, you'll eat lead too. I let him go, I'll still and eat and lead. Shoot Shut him. up. Listen, this isn't about you. Let him go, and tell me where your I, passenger is. I, I don't know where they took him. Hell no! He's lying! You don't know, or you don't want to say? Let me get the comms back up. I'll buzz the unit. We'll talk. Pan Am! But only if you remember the Shut cowboy, the don't up. you? Oh, Pan Am! Goddammit! Oh, shit! Are you alright? Uh, just some scratches. You fucking morons! Did you get hit? Hang on, girl. I'll patch it's you up. It's nothing. Let's go. We couldn't retreat, Pan Am. They regrouped so fast. Started shooting rockets and shit. I lost everyone. Everyone? Scorpion, is he here? Mitch? Mitch? He's... He's safe, Pan right? Pan Am, I'm sorry. I didn't make it in time. No! No! Are you sure? No, he... Scorpion, the rest, I... I'm sorry we didn't get here sooner. They were good people. Great people. They didn't have to die here. I should have stopped him. I tried. He wouldn't have listened to you either. Never was much of a listener. Stubborn bastard. I'm guessing since you were out here, you were out here for the AV. The question is why? Everything okay? You need anything? Thanks for saving my ass, V. Sorry about your people, but I need to keep moving. Why dive straight for the AV? Didn't notice the markings? We saw it was damaged. We know this land. We knew where it would fall. We had no idea it was Kang Tao. I figured they might need help. In the worst case, there'd be good salvage to be had. Couldn't have been more wrong. I need the guy who was riding this AV. You know anything? See anything? Took him with him. In our cars. Where? West. Small unit. Your passenger's entourage. Must be looking for a way to call base. So you're the ones who hit him with that EMP? Yeah, we tried to warn you, but we couldn't connect. If they took your cars, we might be able to follow their tracks. Panem, listen. I know it's not the best time, but I need Hellman. You promised to help. That still hold? I always keep my word. Mitch, I will find those sons of bitches. I swear. Go. I'll call the crew. Get all this cleaned up. We'll leave my ride here just in case. Just watch the gun it likes to jam. We'll go by bike. Sounds good. Kang Tao lost contact with their AV. Probably looking for it. Better hurry. But Pan Am... What? You're coming back for her, right? I promise. Let's get going. Before they send a rescue party. Scorpion and the rest. Look. I know how you feel. I mean it. I'll help you settle your score with Kang Tao. I will destroy them, V. Every last one. We're in this together. At a bitter end. You know what, V? You're all right. You help me with Nash, you help me with Mitch. To my mind, I owe you a favor. Your Hellman. I will find him. Ah, so that's what this is? Just paying your debts? No. Nomads always help their own. Oh, so I'm one of yours now. Sounds good. Let's ride. Hope they didn't go far. We'll see. The tire tracks start there. We'll follow them. Our guys were here. Let's follow. Find them. said I would hate Night City. He knew you that well? Probably better than I know myself. He said when I'd had enough in the city, we would stock up on canned kibble, fill a couple of thermoses with coffee and whiskey, and the road. He said we would get away from it all. Sounds like a real adventure. Yeah. But he's a Shit. Why is everything shit, shit, shit? Hey, I know. Look. You're alive. So got a few things to take care of, too.
Guns, you assholes! Get up! He's wounded! We need The rest must have taken home and with them. If they manage to regroup and call for help, we're out of luck. Better hurry then. a few peeps behind at the airstrip. Rest went with Hellman. I would have done the same. They're looking to call their people. The last they want is to ride through the desert without backup. I hope Mitch contacted the other fellows. All that damn interference. They're coming for him. Don't worry. You know what? What? This is my life right here. I step out of one pile of shit. These tracks lead up past the hill to an old filling station. I wager that's where they're holding help. Drones. Trolls. Definitely set up shop here. They must have Hellman locked up somewhere. Buffy, see that? The pumps look pretty good. Not what you would find if the place were closed. The bastards might have managed to call for transport. We'll know soon enough. Transceiver tower, two guards. Eyes wide open. Watch the wall, mate. Lydia and your mom could hear a Kang Tao AV got shot down. Tear our balls off for that one. Yeah, but if we lose a passenger, they'll shoot us. I'm in. Hellman, he has to be here. Don't shoot, I'm unarmed. The hell are you doing here? This is my station. Name's Marty. Those fucking suits rode up like they own the place. Took everything. Put me here and locked the door. Don't look too concerned. Ain't my first rodeo. Once the dust falls, the problems disappear one way or another, and I... 
I just dust myself off and get back to work. Brought a man with him. A man I need. Civilian. You must have spotted him. Mm-hmm. I ain't blind. Where are they holding him? Old garage. Room upstairs. Probably keeping him there. Thanks. I were you? I'd stay put for a few. Exactly my intention. Know where they're keeping Hellman. Going in. Okay. Covering you. You even get any customers out here? Shit, anyone even drive this way? Anyone who don't like refueling with cameras watching them. Not many, sure, but they're all big tippers. You get me? In exchange for your terrible memory. <laughs> don't you worry. I'll forget you too. Sent you. Hey, easy. We gotta talk. Who are you working for? You're Nobu Arasaka. Do you wish to take me back? Pathetic rat's got nowhere left to scurry off to. He's out of lifelines. Shut him up Not already. Not a fan, I take it. You haven't found a fan in him either. Motherfucker doesn't know who to be scared of more. You or Arasaka. Don't take this personally. Seem to recall you were gonna tell Takamura when you got Hellman. Yeah, just a sec. I'll call him. Just remember, you have Hellman, and that's one hell of a card. Try to win something with it. Takamura saved my life, remember? Because it was in his fucking interest to do so. Still just Biz. He's no friend of yours. Takamura, good news. Got Hellman. Alive. What did he say? Alive. Alive. Not too talkative now. Taking him to the Sunset Motel. I will come to you. Keep him there until I arrive. You got it. See ya. Better take him somewhere you can talk in peace. True.
Looks like your new Chimbas are here. Is that him? Sure is. Take him outside. Toss him on the bike. Stay right there. The cavalry has arrived. Mitch gathered together a few elder columns. <clears throat> the road was clear. I don't think we were spotted. We would still do better not to hang around too long. What do you plan to do with him? Sheesh, long story. Not sure I'd even know where to start. Tell me next time, then. Saul. Everything's done here. All clear. I heard Mitch is alive thanks to you. Thanks to V and Pan Am. They both saved my ass. I just hope he was worth it. Saul, I tried to raise Scorpion, but he... Maybe I could help out somehow? I think you've helped enough. I tried to stop him. Sure. Just turn around now. Let it all be damned. You're good at that, aren't you? Look, Saul, it really wasn't Pan Am's fault. Careful. You and me are not buddy-buddy. Besides, nobody's blamed anyone for anything yet. Sure. Right. Pan Am was just helping me. It was my doing, my fault that AV got hit. Without me, Scorpion and his people wouldn't have gone out to grab it. That's the truth. When you're in Aldo Caldo, you are always responsible for yourself and your people. The circumstances change nothing. Perhaps Pan Am should ask herself if she's still in Aldo Caldo. Damn it all! Hey, don't worry about Saul. I'll get over it. I don't give a damn. But he gives a damn about you, Pan Am. As soon as he heard what had happened, he ordered us to follow you. He was worried something would happen Saul? to you. Saul? That was his? Look, maybe you two don't see eye to eye at the moment, but your family and Saul will do anything for family. The thing is, am I even part of the family anymore? You know you are. Come back to us. <laughs> I understand. Sorry you had to witness that. Things just get complicated. Dramatic sometimes. But I will manage. And you. You look out for yourself, all right? So, what now? Back to Night City? Yeah. I mean, I think so. I have to sit and think. About everything. Think that's it. Until next time. They're coming. You got a minute. Let's move. Until next time. Take care of Scorpion's bike. It's yours now. What is this place? Motel. Middle of nowhere. Any specific middle? Doesn't matter. You're not leaving here by yourself anyway. Why are we here? Wanna talk about your little invention. Biochip you made for Arasaka. Fine. But let's get one thing straight first. Yorinobu Arasaka didn't send you? No. This means you must have an offer for me. If your boss will pay more than Kang Tao, I believe we can talk. Nobody sent me. I got a problem, and you're gonna help me. And what does that have to do with the biochip? Got Silverhand's construct in my head. It's literally driving me crazy. And I know it's only gonna get worse. That is, unless I remove it. And that? None of that's on the billboards I saw. Not even in the Silverhand. Constructed. That's impossible. Where did you get this biochip? Clept it off Yorinobu Arasaka. Job for a client, but the client left me out and of the And you decided the best place for it was in your own goddamn head. Actually, wasn't a bad idea. Construct rebooted me when my own goddamn head took a bullet. I always knew Yorinobu's plan would fail. I just never imagined it would turn out like this. 
Arisaka's prized tech really is in the very streets of the city. You have to remove the biochip from my system. It's not that simple. Look, you made the thing, didn't you? So where's the problem? If you're telling the truth, you slotted in a new experimental version of the biochip. I know you can't just yank it out. My Ripper you said- You showed that to some fucking street doctor? Who else knows? I needed help. Or did you think the first thing that came to mind was downing a Kang Tao AV? How's the prototype version different? It's got a different engram, something more... Aware? Aggressive. The biochip is what's unique, not Silverhand's engram. The previous version of the chip was only used to communicate with pre-saved engram. It was rare as fuck and cost a fortune. Yeah. This one's rarer. Meant to install and activate the engram in a new body. When I left Arisaka, the project was still in the trial phase. How exactly was this new version supposed to work? Were you planning to have the engram kick people out of their own bodies? Is that shit by design? During the tests, we assumed that the body would be... neurally indifferent during implantation. You mean dead? Yes, which makes what happened to you interesting indeed. How do you put a price on immortality? Who could even afford tech like this? Nobody. This model was meant to remain in-house. The prototype was Saburo Arisaka's personal commission. He oversaw the entire project himself. So if it weren't for you, Arinobu, nobody would have found out. And if not for you, the project would not have been a success. This is a true breakthrough. Huh. Imagine my luck. To be so fucking unique, so fucking exceptional. That mean you'll help me? Well, well. I would have to see it first. Whoa, we just met. Haven't built up that sort of trust yet. How did you think this was going to go? If you want me to help you, I must examine you. Okay. Hmm. Unbelievable. It looks like... Can't believe this Seuss the one who's gonna help us. Oh, fuck. Impressive, isn't it? What a pity I won't be able to examine it fully. Yeah, real shame. You could have been his guinea pig, too. Tell me how to get rid of it. I'm afraid I have bad news. Your neural network has completely deteriorated. It can no longer function independently of the chip. The only thing I could Woo do... Woohoo, it's bargaining time. ...is to give you information on a good clinic in Sweden. They'll help you through the terminal stages. Minimize the pain. Wait, you said the project was in the trial phase. You don't actually know how it'll end. Oh, I do. I just saw the construct devouring your brain. It's programmed to take over its new environment. At all costs. And your little meat brain is helpless against it. So no matter what, sooner or later the engram wins. Yes. And from what I've heard about Silverhand, that seems to be exactly his style. Huh. I see my reputation's grown into Arasaka legend. What exactly is going on in my head? You tell me. What's it like to have two personalities? Because it's not like you're hearing voices. You are both yourself and Silverhand, simultaneously. I can see him and talk to him. You're not talking, but yes, I understand what you mean. Have you noticed the Construct's influence on your decision-making? She's give it a rest. When it comes to my decisions, Johnny really is just a voice in my head. Maybe he has a different opinion, but he can't make me do anything. Agreed 100%. You are one fucking stubborn. It's not host. as if one of you wins the debate. The scale simply shifts, slowly but surely. What do you mean? You will start doing things that were once unthinkable, at least to your old self. And you know exactly who he was. A fanatic. A terrorist. A suicide bomb. Oh, fuck me. Who's trying to mess with your head now? That is why I believe it would be better for you to consider clinical isolation at this stage. 
At least Johnny never whored himself out like you. Are you defending him? Or is that Johnny speaking now? Oh, let me guess. He already tried to take over your body. You know, just for a little while. No. Would you though? Could be fun. Johnny... Kidding. But watch out, suit's getting ready to talk your head off. Know what? That's enough. You just playing for time? Cause I can't tell. Are you trying to convince me you're useless? I mean, in that case, I can just shoot you in the head and save us both some time. Ah, oh, finally. I will try to help you. If you come with me to Kang Tao. I'll try. Just isn't gonna cut it. Actually, it's almost like you're trying to buy your way in with the Chinese. At my expense. Do you even realize how much data is in your head? Even if I can't help you, the data must be saved. Well, fuck me sideways. What a half-brain gonk. He just admitted you're right. Forget Kang Tao. Got any other ideas? If you think there's anyone else who can help you, I could give you the blueprints. Complete project documentation. Kang Tao offered quite the sum for it. You got it with you? He's got to. Gonk's fucking useless without him. He... Takamura? What the hell is he doing here? He's got a few questions of his own for you. You play nice. He might even save your ass. I'm almost done. The blueprints. Better than nothing. Long as we find someone fluent in techno babble. What'll you do with him? I haven't decided yet. Are you serious? You know me. I can be impulsive. He's all yours. I'll give you two some space. I hope we can come to another. Standing. That is certainly in your best interest. V, I will remember this. Ah, this heat. My throat is positively parched. Hmm. V did not give you even a glass of water. Unacceptable. Inhumane. That is not me. You will see the difference. I will give you full buckets. No, uh... No need. See that? Fuck me, just look at that. Sons of bitches. You really are paranoid. You don't see it? Way corpse are stripping our world and lives naked, piece by piece? Can't turn a blind eye to that. Whatever you gotta say, say it. Got something eating at your code, that's clear. Been trying to learn how you're wired this whole time. To know who I'm dealing with. Thought you were just unlucky at first. But I kept watching and finally realized what your problem is. Always been a corpo cog, a replaceable part. Once Sokka booted you out, stripped you of perks, best you could hope for was to be a scav exterminator. You're a dick, you know. And you're a cunt. Maybe we'll fit together after all. Cut this juvenile bullshit. I'm just trying to help you. I neither want nor do I need your help. Just go. Had enough of you.
I hope we can come to an understanding. You don't see it? Way corpses are stripping our world and lives naked, piece by piece? Can't turn a blind eye to that. Whatever you gotta say, say it. Got something eating at your code, that's clear. Been trying to learn how you're wired this whole time. To know who I'm dealing with. Thought you were just unlucky at first. You sure seem to know a lot about my past. Well, seen flashes of your past, just like you've seen flashes of mine. Honestly, I'm scared of the day I'll start seeing your memories as my own. Shit. If it's a two-way street, I'll somehow have to live with the fact that I let Deshaun best me. Fuck me over. Listen, will I notice the change? Or is it... One of those things where I'll wonder why I ever feared it. Worst thing you can do to a human. Rip their identity out of them. That's all I know. How you find life under my skin? Well, most things are either too big or too small. Not to mention the clusterfuck that are your hormones. And the lag between sight and touch. Infuriating. When you take a bite of pizza, it takes ages before I know you fucking burn the roof of your mouth. Plus, used to be five minutes wouldn't pass before I had a fresh cig in my hand. Now I'm itching for nicotine. Getting used to it, I guess. But it's no fucking picnic. Can you just tell me what you want? What you really want? Help me settle my score against Arasaka. That's it. Not having control. You can't stand it. Seeing some things are out of your hands. Don't be ridiculous, V. Whole world used to revolve around Silverhand. Now, no one gives a shit. Okay. I'll tell you why I want to destroy Arasaka, but I'll only tell you once. Want to hear it? All right. I saw a corpse strip farmers of water, and eventually of land. Saw them transform Night City into a machine fueled by people's crushed spirits, broken dreams, and empty pockets. Corps have long controlled our lives, taken lots, and now they're after our souls. Might be right. Can't really argue with you there. V, I've declared war not because capitalism's a thorn in my side or out of nostalgia for an America gone by. This war's Johnny, a people's war a against a system that spiraled out of our control. It's a war against the fucking forces of entropy. Understand? Do whatever it takes to stop them, defeat them, gut them. If I gotta kill, I'll kill. If I need your body, I'll fucking take it. Johnny. Fucking hell. You still don't see it, but you will one day.
What a fucking shit style. Wasn't slumming in squats like your whole class thing? Or sure, me. when I was no sketched out, be up. Quick and clean results. You will be entering Tiger Claw territory. Very high risk. More information attached. How's it Hi going there, with Rogue? That's going. Knock on wood. So, things are settled. For now, we're good at avoiding each other, and that's fine with me. No complications with Kang Tao. So far, so good. Hey. They sent another the patrol yeah. around the station. Oh, I hear it. But they're it dead all set right. that Just it was Raffin that downed their care. AV and attacked Hellman's guards. Station's proprietor is sticking to that version. So we're covered for now. Make up your mind yet? About what? The Aldecaldos? Going back? Part of me. He just wants to drive down the open highway and never look back. Part of me wants to stay. But being in the same room with Saul... I don't know anything anymore, V. Whatever happens, sure you'll make the right decision. Mm-hmm. Take care. Talk soon, V. Oh, well, well. Looks like Leo went to the Tiger Claws behind Waco's back. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Claws aren't the deal honoring type. Let's see if she got lucky. who your husband is? Actually, who are you? I'd rather not discuss details over the phone. Please, meet with us. We'll explain everything. As I said, it's a rather delicate matter. Why call me, of all people? Any particular reason? You came recommended. Yahoo, bye. I'd rather not say. Not over the phone. 
Is there any way we could meet? Discuss some details? Sure. Let's do that. I'll send you the address. See you. Hmm. Reminds me of this one dive in Arroyo we used to sometimes do sets in Friday nights. Because... Because it was one tough fucking joint. One wrong word, one sideways glance, and you'd get steel between the ribs. There's one dot in a royal we used to sometimes do sets in Friday nights. Because... Because it was one tough fucking joint. One wrong word. One sideways glance and you'd get steel between the ribs. どうせ長いしないんだ。落ちてみた。So many people died for this tiny little shit spec. It's not the size that counts. Both you and I know no one actually believes that.
Closing the contract.